There will be blood. And nunchucks. Have you given any thought to where this ends? No one, not even you, can kill everyone. Keanu Reeves is back as our favorite master assassin in John Wick, Chapter 4. The movie won't hit theaters until March 2023, but that didn't stop Keanu Reeves from swinging by Comic-Con to introduce a sneak peek teaser for John Wick Chapter 4, simply titled John Wick, which might be confusing given that this is also the title of the original film that launched the whole franchise. According to Deadline Hollywood, Reeves crashed the Collider's directors on directing panel, which included John Wick, Chapter 4 director Chad Stahelski as a panelist. Spoilers for the first three films in the franchise below. As I've written previously, for the benefit of those who missed the first three movies, John Wick, Reeves, is a legendary hitman, known as the Boogeyman or Baba Yaga, who tried to retire when he fell in love and got married. Unfortunately, Hess drawn back into the dark underground world by an act of senseless violence after his wife's death. Nothing will stop John Wick from seeking retribution. The first John Wick grossed more than $88 million worldwide for a film that cost around $30 million to make, and it was praised for its brisk pace, heart-stopping action sequences, and stylish noir feel. So naturally, there was a sequel. In John Wick, Chapter 2, Wick takes on a whole slew of Russian baddies but finds himself honor-bound, per the professional hitman's code, to go on one last assignment. Of course he succeeds, has John Wick, but the client, Italian crime lord Santino D'Antonio, Ricardo Scamarchu, tries to cover his tracks by posting a bounty on Wick's head. Wick ends up killing Santino, newly named to the high table, inside the Continental Hotel in New York, which is supposed to be a safe space for assassins, and is declared excommunicado, cutting him off from all the resources the hitman underground usually provides. And that's where John Wick, Chapter 3, Therabellum picked up, with Wick scrambling to find allies, and ammo, to fight off pretty much the entire underworld of assassins, all of them very eager to claim the $14 million bounty on his head. The title refers to the old adage, see this pachum, parabellum, if you want peace, prepare for a war. Wick essentially declared war on the high table, and the escalation played out exactly as you'd expect when everyone's favorite dog-loving hitman is involved. John is training hard for the mega fight to come. YouTube slash Lionsgate Ian McShane is back as the treacherous Winston. YouTube slash Lionsgate so is Lance Reddick as Karen, the concierge at the Continental Hotel in New York YouTube slash Lionsgate there are some new faces in the mix, too. YouTube slash Lionsgate are you ready, John? Lawrence Fishburne's Bowery King is a rare ally. YouTube slash Lionsgate Parabellum ended with one final twist that neatly set up John Wick, Chapter 4.